All right, let's go. This time tunnel leads to Western Africa in the 14th century. It's the height of the Mali Empire, Ooh. and a pivotal pilgrimage should have hit the road by now. The problem is, no one's going anywhere. Why? See what you can find out. What? If there's one good guide who knows great empires, it's antiquity. Antiquity. She's going with you. So look to her for guidance, time cuffs, and another Chronopedia chapter. Uh, better dress for warm weather time, Trooper. Good luck. Another day, another time period. How's this for heat? Welcome to sunny West Africa in the year 1324. We're just outside the city of Niani, and the fabulous looking fellow there is Mansa Musa, emperor of the Mali Empire. Well now, if that isn't the straw that broke the camel's back. A man most strange just stole my only block of salt. My pilgrimage cannot begin without it. Aww. Aha. Sounds like our thief needed to cut down on his salt intake. Man, I love I don't know. I, I I have a soft spot for antiquity. She seems very cool. Her and Rock Solid. Okay, let's see. That griot is an oral storyteller who memorizes all the important events of the Mali Empire. He's a walking, talking history book. My griot excels in the telling of stories about amazing African empires, like mine. <laughs> like griot, me? <laughs> tell us a story. One tale of the great Mansa's pilgrimage coming up. <coughs> it was in 1324 uh -huh. that Musa left the Niger shore for Mecca, that most holy Muslim city. This pilgrimage. It's called a Hajj. Is something Muslims never dodge. To miss the trip would be a golden pity. Ooh, okay. That didn't tell me about his history though, but all right. Sand blast it. A gritty character just absconded with all the salt. My most precious possession. Without that salt, we're going nowhere. Okay, who are you, sir? I am Mansa Musa. Ruler of the Great Mali Empire here in Western Africa. Surely you've heard of me. A little bit. What does Mansa mean? Mansa means emperor or ruler. And my own name is Musa. So I am called Mansa Musa, ruler of one of the largest empires in the world. Mm, what's the delay? Someone has stolen my caravan's okay, only block of salt. salt. If my followers hear of this, they'll surely disband. And do you have any idea how long it takes to get 60,000 people packed up and ready to go? Uh, probably a long time. So why is salt so important for your caravan? Salt is essential for the body. Uh-huh. It helps us survive long trips through the desert by replacing the salty sweat lost to the hot sun. Water alone is not enough. We must have salt too. I never understood the salt block though. If you have a salt block, do you just chip away at the salt and then distribute it, I guess? Can we be of any help? Why, yes. How gracious of you to offer. Take my gold staff and trade it for the largest block of salt you can find. The success of my pilgrimage depends on you. It's a bit of pressure, Mansa. Uh, excuse me, where are we, Mansa Musa? Why, we are in Western Africa, of course. And we are standing by the outskirts of Niani, capital of my Mali Empire. Ooh, are things going well in your Mali Empire? Fate has been most kind. The Mali Empire is one of the largest and richest empires anywhere. In other parts of the world right now, there is much bloodshed and poverty. But here in Mali, we have peace, high culture, and great wealth. We can't complain. Sounds like a good life, though. What's the long line of people all about? That line is my caravan. All the people, camels, and supplies that will join me on my holy pilgrimage. Uh-huh. If you want details, just ask my official griot. He made all the arrangements. Ooh, let's ask him then. Go on, griot. Sing again for your supper. Ah, yes, another caravan tale. <clears throat> One hundred sturdy camels bearing three hundred pounds of pure gold each. They'll cross the desert's blazing worst, where salt alone can banish thirst. The sands of the Sahara are no day at the beach. 
Hmm. How many stories do you have, Mr. Griot? Sing us a story again, Griot. It was in 1324 that Musa left the Niger shore for Mecca, that most holy Muslim city. This pilgrimage, it's called a Hajj, is something Oh, we already Muslim. listened to this, obviously. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's look at everything else then. That city in the distance yeah. is Niani, yeah. capital of the Mali Empire. It's on the shores of the Niger River. I plan to return from my pilgrimage with important artists and scholars. They will assist me in turning Niani and Timbuktu into famed centers of art and learning. Oh, that sounds fun. This huge caravan stretches almost to Niani from here. Almost, but not completely. Camel. That camel is leading Musa's huge caravan. Camels have been used to travel the dry deserts for over 5,000 years. Talk about a dependable engine. Oh man, yeah, I've always wanted- I, I wish I can see a camel someday. Okay, I think that's it? Servants, yeah. Those are two of the 500 servants Mansa Musa is taking with him on his pilgrimage. Oh, wow, that's a lot of servants, man. Horse. That's an Arabian stallion, a small but powerful horse from North Africa. Only the Mansa and a few of his top officials got to ride horses. Everyone else hooked it. Oof, sucks. The horse kind of reminds me of the horse Mel Dorado. Travel into the jungle or travel to come back too. Okay, jungle. What's over here? Good day, and what a fine day it is in the bright country. The bright country was a common nickname for the Mali Empire. Think about it: the African sun, the plentiful gold, and the friendly reputation of the Mali people. Makes sense, no? It does make sense, but do you have a salt lake we can talk? Greetings, travelers. Have you come to peruse my crafts? A little bit. Who are you? Well, let's see. Got my metal pot, my metal working tools, and I am surrounded by metal. I am, in fact, a metal worker. Dope. I specialize in handcrafted gold items. Ooh, why do you specialize in gold rather than copper or iron? Yeah, it's a little bit strange. Why? Why, it's glittery, it's malleable, it's valuable, it produces awe-inspiring, jaw-dropping jewelry. Iron and copper are important, but with gold, I can really work some magic. You All you needed to say was it was glittery and I was sold. Do you really work magic with your gold? Well, <laughs> let's just say I have a magical touch. He but sounds it sketch. really comes from years of dedication and hard work. Nothing up my golden sleeve, see? In ancient West Africa, people believed that smiths had magical powers because they could shape earth and fire into a new substance, metal. Ah, what does the big pot do that I'm learning so much right now? Well, I melt soft metals like gold in that copper pot. It only needs a bit of candle flame. Then I pour the liquid into these clay molds here and do the rest of the shaping and crafting by hand. Ah, oh, is the gold destroyed when melted? No, well, it can't though, right? It's matter. What? No, no. no? Oh, never gold mind. Gold never goes bad. What do you think it is? A banana? Yes. Gold <laughs> can be melted and reshaped endlessly. You might even own some gold once worn by an ancient pharaoh. Yeah, and we might have even got it straight from Queen Hatshepsut. Huh, Trooper? Oh. I miss Queen Half Shut Suit. What makes gold so valuable? So does that mean there's only a finite amount of gold on the face of the world? Gold is beautiful and useful for many crafts, so everyone wants some. But gold is also quite hard to find. Put these together and you have yourself a truly precious metal. Wow, that's a, I wish there was more gold then. Would gold be valuable if there was lots of it? Definitely not. See, if everyone had all the gold they wanted, then people wouldn't value my golden jewelry as much. <laughs> Lucky for me, gold is quite rare. But does that mean you don't have like good skills to make it special? Where does all of Mali's gold come from? A lot of Mali's gold comes from the secret mines of Wangara. The miners keep the location of the mines a secret, so only they know where to find it. Oh man, I hope we can see it one day then. Okay, mask? Oh, you are admiring my mask. It is one of my finest pieces and will bring me much respect in the village. Okay. I just finished making that piece of golden jewelry over there. Not bad, huh? It's pretty. 
Candle? I'm surprised to see those. Candles were common in Europe in 1324, but kind of rare in Africa. The Mali people weren't big on wax making yet. Ah, Ooh. gold is such a pleasure to work with. So soft, so malleable. It only takes a little heat from a candle to melt it down. Now, copper and iron, on the other hand, those metals are tough. Is that true? Is gold really easy? Like, or no, is gold... Does gold melt easy against, like, a candle flame? The Niger River was like a major Niger. highway in ancient Mali. It allowed people to transport all sorts of trading goods by boat. See those canoes? They're loaded with gold from the secret mines of Wangara. The mines are so secret, not even Mansa Musa knows where his gold comes from. Oh, wow. So you can tell us the secret then, right? So clay molds. So what I'm getting here is that I think he wants us to melt this and then these will go in here. Those are my clay molds for casting melted metals. The different molds produce pieces of different sizes and shapes. Okay, before we do anything, I don't want to jump the like gun. That looks like over there. It's where much of the copper in Mali came from. Ooh, okay. Hmm, okay, I think that's what we got here. Goodbye, traders. Let's go over to the other side. There has to be something over here. See the 20 foot <gasps> the high salt. walls behind me? They're the outer walls of the fabled city of Timbuktu, where the camel meets the canoe. Oh, oh yes, very clever. Timbuktu is a splendid trading spot, centrally located between the camels of the desert and the canoes of the jungle rivers. It is my favorite city in all of Mali. Oh, the art's so nice. Camel. That camel has a pretty dry disposition. Too much time in the sun, I guess. That camel has my such camel skinny Camille legs. My may be ill-tempered, but she's a very shrewd merchant. She has a way of letting me know if a trade is not in my favor. <gasps> There's a note there, I just noticed. A Carmen note. I thought something was afoot with this camel. In Mali, Africa, your land, where cities meet the desert sand. Okay. Salt! Hmm, yes. That salt probably came from the salt mines of Tagaza, up in the north. I want it. That's quite right. Up in Tagaza, there are no trees, so buildings are made out of huge blocks of pure salt. I want it. Oh! Oh, a most egregious misunderstanding. I require something in exchange for my block of fine salt. Ah, okay. I'm glad he didn't think we were stealing, because I would have totally Welcome, done that. Welcome, my fine friends. Who are you? I am a humble Muslim and an honest salt trader at your service. Okay, what does Muslim mean? Oh, oops. By Allah, being Muslim means I am a devout follower of the teachings of Islam. Most of the traders around these parts are Muslim. Over the years, we have established huge trade networks across Africa and Arabia. Mm, how did your trade networks get so huge? Well, hard work helps, of course, but it also helps that most traders are Muslim. And we Muslims tend to trust one another, even when separated by differences in language and culture. Common beliefs can make African and Arab traders act like brothers. Ooh, how global. What do you have to trade today? Well, I have a nice solid block of salt, fresh from the Takaza mines. Okay, well, we need that. Salt, that's perfect. Would you like to trade it? Would I like to trade? I thought you'd never ask. Make me an offer of gold, and we'll strike up a deal. Ooh. How did you bring your, the salt block to Timbuktu? Well, I carry my salt by camel across the vast Sahara, all the way from the Tagaza mines in the north. Ah, why are camels used to transport goods from across the desert? I'm it's so strange. I guess, like, antiquity is just staring, right? And then I'm just here asking just so many questions. Camels are amazingly efficient animals, quite well suited for desert travel. They can go for weeks without water. They also have wide, soft feet, perfect for walking on loose sand. Ooh, Anne. A gold nugget for your thoughts. Yes, Anne. How can we help Mansa Musa? Musa's pilgrimage is in a deep pickle without some salt. He can't make off from Mecca without it. We need to find him some. How can we get that block of salt from the trader? The trade's gotta go even Steven, Trooper. Even Steven. We need to offer him just enough gold to perfectly balance his salt. Okay, thanks, Anne. So how about... Hmm, let's see now. Okay. Something tells me that's not such a good trade. Okay, Maybe well... Maybe we should add some gold to our side of the bargain. This gold staff is magnificent, but it far outweighs my humble salt block. Perhaps if you could find a way to make a smaller offering, 
we could do business. Musa's staff is heavier than the block of salt. We'll have to find some way to offer the trader less gold. What? He said Salon he's an honest travels. trader, but wouldn't you just take it, like, with without just... Uh, okay, here, just Hold take... Hold your camels! What are you trying to do, get me in trouble? I know a piece of Mansa Musa's property when I see it. This is his personal gold stuff. I can't melt this down. Why not? There's no need to worry. We're on a mission from Musa. He gave us the staff so that we could obtain some salt for his journey. Well, that is an interesting claim. But I'll need proof that Mansa Musa actually gave you his staff and that you didn't... <laughs> borrow it. Fortunately, I am well acquainted with Musa's pilgrimage. Answer my questions about it, and I'll melt the staff for you. He's literally sure, right there, bro. Okay, okay, here we go. I'm not ready. What is the Arabic word for a holy pilgrimage? <sighs> well done. Hajj. Hajj okay. is the Arabic yeah. word for a holy pilgrimage. Hajj. All good Muslims are expected to make this important journey at least once in their lifetime. Uh -huh. Permit me to ask another no, question. No, dude. What is the final destination Mecca. of Mansa Musa's pilgrimage? Mecca. That's correct. Mecca is the holy city of Islam, over 3,000 miles away. All good Muslims are expected to go there at least once in their lifetime. Permit me to no. ask another question. Uh. During Musa's pilgrimage, how many pounds oh my God, of gold I actually don't will know. each camel carry? Um... Uh. 12,000 pounds on each camel? <laughs> that, that would squash them. Permit me to ask uh -huh. another question. Okay. Musa's journey will take him through an ocean of sand. What is the name of this vast wasteland? Uh, uh, Sahara. That's correct. Okay. The mighty Sahara takes up much of the North African continent. It is not an easy task to cross it. But Mansa Musa is a devout and determined Muslim. Nothing will stop him. I'll give you another chance. Thank you, good sir. During Musa's pilgrimage, oh my God, how the camel many question. pounds of gold will each camel carry? 30. No, no, no. Guess again. I suggest you get your facts about Mansa Musa. No. Ah, no, tell me again. Do tell me you? again. Okay. I That is the total number of camels in the caravan. I'll give during most correct okay, 300. 300, 300 pounds on each camel. It's a real treasure trove, and the monster will need pounds. all I guess that, that was kind gold of a stupid to answer. <laughs> a long and extravagant journey to Mecca. According to the history books, Mansa Musa gave away so much gold while traveling that its value dropped in Cairo. Oh, interesting. His wealth and generosity literally put the Mali Empire on the map. My doubts are dispelled, strangers. I am well and truly convinced that you come as messengers of Mansa Musa. Amazing. <laughs> <gasps> Can we take it? Ah, uh, yes. Good thing we're strong as Goodbye, as heck. Oh no 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 no! I, I missed the the note. What an eagle eye! It's a part of the Carmen note. Uh, for famous salt, blah blah blah. Check out Mansa Musa, blah 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 blah. Okay. Let's open this. Okay, how about this and then this for the salt? Is that good? What have we here? A thousand apologies, but your proposed trade is sadly lacking. Okay, you don't I need to give me a thousand apologies. The very short end of the stick. Let's add a little more gold. Ah, uh, okay. One, two, three. There we go. Come on, you got a little bit more. What have we here? Oh my gosh! A thousand apologies. I think we. So we need all. Is all of it then? Because I don't think it's. Just, is it the big one maybe? Is it the big one? What have we what? here? What? Something. I think we're giving him the very. Sh okay, okay, okay. Maybe. Is this right? Is this right? You know what? How about we just give you all of it, just because I want to see what the dialogue says. One more. With a little one. Let's go. Your display of wealth is flabbergasting, but I'm afraid I don't have enough salt to match your offer. 
I think we went overboard. Let's remove some gold. Oh, okay, Anne. Okay, so this, I think three would be okay. Come on. Your display oh, come of wealth on. is flabbergasting. I think. Okay, so I think it's gotta be the little little one then, right? Let's do this one. Oh my! I don't believe I have quite enough salt to match your offer. Okay, We've so it's 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 the little 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 one then. Oh my! I don't believe I have. Qu We've been uh, la, 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 la. Okay, maybe. Uh, what have I not tried? Have I not tried this? Maybe it's the middle one that's freaking me over. Mm. <gasps> no, mm. gosh, it's close. Mm. Oh my! I am practically marinated by that. Offer. Marinated. But it is still slightly lagging. We can do better than that. Okay, whatever you say, Anne. We gotta do a little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Let's see. God here. damn! Okay. okay. One more. One more. Okay, maybe all. Maybe is it all of it except for the middle one? Maybe. I think so. Oh my! Urgh, come on! An intriguing offer. We can do better than that. Can we? Can we do better than that, Anne? I feel like I'm freaking up here. Okay, come on. What have we here? Okay, okay. I, remember, you can always talk. Okay, a Anne. Gold nugget for your thoughts. Ah, oh, how can we use the chair? We can balance Anne. things out by throwing some gold on. Let's use the process of elimination. Try taking away or adding just one piece of gold at a time and see what happens. This should help you figure out what doesn't belong. Yes. Something I <sighs> Oh my. I do We Got to go this is a slow and easy way, huh? No, I have we can do better than. Okay. Let's see here. An intriguing. Op we can. Okay, maybe the middle one is the middle one. Did I try this already? I hope I, I, hope I didn't try this already. Let's see here. My spirits are dampened. I'm afraid. Your golden beard seems a bit scanty. We can do better than that, Trooper. We'll need just a little more gold. Okay. This one. Is it this one? Mm. <laughs> okay. I have we okay, so I think it's that three, but you might need the little one. That's with a chunk. Little one with it. I hope there's an easier way to do this. It's not just me doing pro trial process of elimination. Now that ah, looks like a thank fair God. trade. Oh. It's a deal even a camel can love. We have ourselves a trade, my friend. Thank God. Okay. You drive a hard bargain, my friends, but your offer was fair. Please take this out, and may it save you from thirst on a hot desert day. We got the salt. Let's hightail back to Mansa Musa so he can get his show on the road. Okay, come on, come on. Salam, travelers. Mansa Musa, here's the salt. <laughs> Distinguished guests, my gratitude knows no bounds. How well and faithfully you have obtained this most excellent and essential salt. I must alert my retinue. Let the glittering pilgrimage let's go, let's begin. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, wouldn't they all leave too? No? Okay. Holy pilgrimage! You Holy found pilgrimage, the last piece of the Carmen note. Let's have a look. Okay, in Mali, Africa, where you land, where cities meet the desert sand. For famous salt, I have a thirst, so check out Musa's convoy first. Ship of the desert is your ride. The leading one is where you hide. 
Good job. I'll activate wouldn't the time it, cuffs. Wouldn't it be one of the, the, the camels? Wow. The Chronopedia helped point us right at that camel. The leading ship of the desert. I thought that was kind of evident, but... Oh, oh my god, Anne! We've busted Bug Zapper. He's the electrifying thief everyone's been buzzing about. That's crazy. All right, Bugs. Gigs up. We're hauling your sorry mug downtown with us. You think you're smart, eh? Oh, get out of here. You won't keep me in the clink for long. Great going! You busted Bug Zapper and you saved the Bug day Zapper. from Monsa Musa by snagging that salt with your clever balancing act. Yep, that was me. Because of you, Mansa will make his hajj to Mecca and spread his wealth around. And by golly, jolly old Molly will hit the heights of glory. You've done excellent work as usual. Can you continue on and take another case? How many more cases are there? Oh my god.